Now that we know how to interact with the terminal and Linux basics, I just want to show you some final steps that we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to update your sources, how to install programs, and how to install a really useful terminal that would be very handy in the future. So I'm going to go to the Kali machine. And the, fir the first thing that I want to show you is viewing the machine in full screen. So just go to view and go to full screen. And that will automatically expand everything and put it in proper full screen. The next thing that I want to do is talk about the package manager in Kali Linux. So you can install programs using a command called apt-get. So you usually type in apt-get and then if you want to install something, you type in install and then you type the package name that you want to install, so the program name. Before you do any of that, you have to update the sources. So the way that this program works is it works through fetching a number of libraries. So on a fresh installation, you want to update your sources, make sure that it has the latest sources for the libraries and the latest available programs. So we're just gonna do apt-get update. This command will not update your system, it will only update the list of available programs that can be installed. And now everything has been updated. Now we can actually go ahead and start installing programs. So I'm gonna give you an example of installing a really useful terminal application called Terminator. So like I said before, the command is gonna be apt get install terminator. Hit enter. And as you can see now, it's telling me, do I want, do I really want to install this? I'm gonna say yes. So I'm gonna type in Y and hit enter. And this will automatically download the application and install it for me. So now we can go ahead and try to use Terminator. So if we go to all applications here and type in Terminator, you will see it right here. Now I'm actually gonna right click it and add it to my favorites. So it shows up in the dock. So we can see it showing up right here. I'm gonna click that. And as you can see, it's just another terminal application. I'm just gonna increase the size in here, the size of the text. And now you can actually run programs through this terminal. The cool thing about this terminal is you can actually split, split the screen and run multiple commands. So if you right click and you can split horizontally and I can run commands in here and on the top in here. And again, I can split this horizontally or vertically if I want. And then I have three windows where I can run three commands or three programs at the same time. So it just can be really handy. It can make your life much easier in the future. One more command that I'd like to talk about is upgrading your system. Now, in many cases, when you upgrade your system, you might face issues with broken libraries. So some of the programs might not, might not work because the libraries that they depend on will be updated, but the program itself will not be updated. So the program will actually break. So you can try to do this. If it doesn't work, you can restore to a snapshot that you created before, but I usually don't really upgrade. Most of the time I keep it the same way. And if there's a new version of Kali, I just import that as another virtual machine instead of upgrading my existing Kali version. Now, if you want to upgrade your system, all you have to do is just type in apt, get upgrade. Now, if I hit enter, you'll see that's telling me there's a large number of libraries and packages that's gonna be upgraded. If you hit enter, it'll start downloading and installing and configuring these packages. It might ask you to configure a few things. Just make sure, just keep saying yes, 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 or set the configurations the way that they're set by default. So don't be very adventurous and try to change things. Keep them the way that they are. Again, most of the time I keep it the same way. If you want to upgrade, then try it, see it and see if it works. If you're gonna have any issues, you can post it in the comments and I'll reply to them and I'll help you with them. And in the future, if any of the programs started giving you errors, I'll tell you if this is due to the upgrade or not.